when we think of like, you know, demonic possession, we think of the conjuring and we think of the exorcist. Well, you know, it's completely different from that. You see, demonic possession is much different. Demonic possession is addiction. It's mental illness. It's uh, depression, right? It's when people completely lose control of their ability to choose to decide for themselves when something takes complete control of them. Now, you know, we think of, hey, a person's going to get possessed if they play with a Ouija board, they start messing around with something dark. But that's not true. Why would that be, right? Because think about it. The easiest way for something evil to get into our lives would be to gain our trust, would be to be something that we love, something that we care about, something uh, that brings us happiness. Okay, that would be the easiest way for it to enter into our lives. You know, you think about some of these famous serial killers. You know what they had in common? They did a lot for their communities. They were prominent members of society. They helped out a lot of people. And that's why people never suspected a thing. And that's how they were gaining access to this ability to do what they were doing. You see, uh, you know, when, when someone deals with an addiction, right? That's not because they went and played with a Ouija board. That's because... Uh, a friend or family member, right, introduced them to a drug or, you know, something in their life that they became addicted to, okay? And this is how uh, demonic possession happens, you know? The devil doesn't have horns and a pitchfork, right? He comes in everything you seek and desire. He looks like everything you want. And see, we trust certain people and we allow them into our lives. And they bring about this evil energy that comes and attaches itself to us. And that is how one becomes possessed.